but it's up to Wall Patching to clear the danger. Easy enough for the Stockport man. Delivered back in by Kazim. O'Sullivan with a flashing shot and it's tested the palms of Brian Maher. The first shot in anger yep. in the fourth minute. The great Coming effort as well, going. just on the turn, just quick snapshot. And he's, uh, Brian's done well to get down the save because it took it just a bounce just right before it came to him. Brian Maher, of course, involved with the international setup during the break, getting a taste of that fight with the corner. Gives the signal with the right hand and delivers Good it ball. deep. And Shane McElhinney gets ahead to it, but half decent chance in fair. There's too much on it, and it's going to be another goal kick to Galway. Brendan Clark started every game for Galway so far this season. He's won everything in the League of Ireland football. Slevin played for some pats, charged down by Duffy, eventually cleared downfield. Shane McLean lets it run, but in behind him, Carlo Sullivan has found a yard. O'Sullivan in the 18 yard box, still O'Sullivan. Troops arriving from Galway as the ball's played to the back post. Ed McCarthy with the simplest of touches, but the flag has gone up on the far side. His effort did hit the, the post, but uh, Heart in the mouth moment for Derry City yeah. there as McCarthy found a yard in behind the back line. He did look off, but it was a, a it could be passes of play from Galway here to be, you know they committed bodies forward and gives the ball away. Great ball. Patching picks it up. Finds McJanet. McJanet gets his cross under the box. Duffy trying to swivel and shoot a shot out. Gets make it a second bite at it, plays oh. it on. Oh Danny Mullen just couldn't oh, quite passing. settle himself there. And Derry Jersey's doing so. We await the outcome of Michael Duffy's free. It's a great ball. It's whipped out. And Mark oh. Conley, oh, just met it with his head. And uh, luckily enough, Brendan Clark, he just pulled his hand out of the way at the last second there as he that knew was it was going over his bar. Mm. Good delivery. Good delivery from Duffy, Good yeah. Good header. Mark held him off and strong header. Just, just not this on the target. Conley. And Conley oh, gives it away. And it's picked up well by Vincent Borden in the centre of the park. Borden's time to look across. A Dervin breaking inside the Derry 18 yard box. Great oh, it's a save. fine save from Brian Maher as Dervin found himself one on one with the keeper. Great save. It's Lovely so first far. touch from no, no. Dervin. They did run out losers to Shamrock Rovers when they scored in the 84th minute, so he'll not be looking for any slip ups in the closing stages as the ball's whipped in again. McJanet doesn't get to it. Jordan McAniff with a follow up, but it's wide of Clark's goal. And we can finally see Kieran Light with a long ball oh forward boy. and then shouts of handball. There was a handball on people, don't get come off ball, him. Yep. As Walsh, until the age of the Derry 18, does get a shot away, but it goes out. And Brian Maher shows his frustration in kicking the ball away. But there was definitely a shout from handball. But, you know, the, the rules of the game and the laws have changed as well to him. Maher's going to get a yellow card now for kicking the ball away as well, too. So. The frustration starting it's to creep into yes. the Derry ranks, Sean. Yep, that was a handball for me. I mean, it's, it's, it's come up often, but it's up there in a good position and his left goal in a good position. The ball's played over the top. Sean Patton can't quite get a, a touch on it at the moment. As the ball's cleared agriculturally towards Stephen Walsh. Walsh gets the better of Conley. Walsh inside the 18-yard box, and he's managed to slide it underneath and put it into the bottom corner and he runs to the goal with United supporters to celebrate in the 85th minute at Sterry City nil, Galway United won. Well, he's come on and he's put himself about. Um, he's he's frustrated Derry and then you're so committed to going forward and sometimes you can leave yourself short at the back and that's just what happens. He's got on his... Well, it was just a clearance out, yeah. of, out of defence, and Walsh capitalised on it. The sub, as you say, Sean, he just lofted it over the head of Mark Conley. Shane McElhinney tried to close him down. I think Marr thought that Shane McElhinney had done enough yeah. to put the striker off. But uh, Marr just, just seemed to stop. Uh, he thought he had Nugent, Morris Nugent, the number six, as Will Patching delivers the free kick on. Boyce was arriving there. there. Shane oh. McElhinney with the shot. Oh, shouts of handball from the Derry. Forwards there. But Galway on. try and break. Brian Maher. Again, long clearance out. Pat Hoobin can win the header. 
Well, Declan Toland brings proceedings to a close here at the Brandywell. John Caulfield's Galway United with their third victory of the season. Walk away from Brandywell with that Stephen Walsh goal in the 85th minute. Okay. To for me, Colin Green, it's finished at the Brandywell. Derry City nil, Galway United won. Good night, God bless, and I'll see you again soon.